wherever I want to go, you take me. So, whatever I want, you buy me. That's courting. It's a good word for simping. S-I-M-P-I-N-G. Everything I want, you do it for me. And I have no accountability. This is a giant <laughs> oh my goodness. Just, just like Andre the Giant. Look Stop at it. me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's where we're going. He said we're going to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> now I understand why her eyelash didn't fit across the whole eye. She got an eye like Jurassic Park. <laughs> I do believe that is how she oh, was that, raised. Oh yeah. A man does whatever you want and you treat him like shit. And this is what happens. She has just appalling expectations like he's not a man because he's not doing that. Look at her head is just grazing that sun. Her head is so hard. There she is, sticking her head out of the moonroof. <laughs> Why is she Ninja. looking backwards? I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Yo, Square Pippa Gay, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Mm, nice. Nice. What's going on, Harry? What's going on? Talk to me. Oh, Dante, I'm I'm living the life. You know me. I'm I'm rocking. I'm rolling. Trying to keep these gators down. If I was doing any better, I'd be a uh, uh, selling size 13 shoes outside of the Cheesecake Factory. Because <laughs> she is. The hits keep on coming with the Cheesecake Factory lady. The uh, everyone knows at this point. If you've been online anywhere, it's all over the place. Crazy. It's going yeah. wild. This woman. Uh, the video started where this woman was filming. Because on her first date, a guy took her to the Cheesecake Factory and she did not want to go and she tried to humiliate him and it backfired on uh, on her as the entire internet community in unison basically said that she was the problem. Yeah. And so to follow up, she did one video that we just talked about, right, where she yeah. uh, basically took no accountability. But to her credit, like you were saying, she did. Uh, decided to sit down with the guy she went on the first date with on a show to uh, have a discussion about it. Right. Which is so another, another YouTube creator content contacted both of them and they did a live interview. And that's why we're here. We're going to critique it and go through it and see what we see so we can break it down for you. Let's go. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Teach you to avoid all this stuff. Uh, we'll pull it up right now. Here we go. It's starting up. Jay, pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the show, and thank you guys for being willing to come here and have this dialogue. Okay, I'm sure stop. you guys have caught. Got stop, right. stop, hold on, hold on. This is a giant bitch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this bitch is like Andre the Giant. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. She is big. She's I big. I didn't realize how big she is. Wow, man. She's a big, she's bigger than both of them. God I, damn. She could have beat his ass. He, she could have beat both of their ass. I believe if my wow. money would be on her, if 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 it God. went down. Damn! She, look, her, I look, didn't at, really... look at her big ass hands. Oh my she God! Can palm a beach ball. <laughs> this makes it even crazier a little bit because you know it, when you're like I don't know how tall she is. She's got to be at least that's at least six foot. Yeah, six foot. That's something at like that. least six foot right there. And now I understand why her eyelash, uh, <laughs> why she couldn't put the whole eye. It didn't fit across the whole eye. She got an eye like Jurassic Park. You know when it, oh. when the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you saying that when she came to the when she came down to get in the car, his water bottle started shaking. <laughs> Is that what you're shaking. saying, Dante? Yeah. Oh my God, that's that's why he couldn't hold her hand because she had them little that's T Rex why. arms. <laughs> she was trying to do him a favor. She's like, "I'll crush you if I hold your hand." I would, I would crush you. You see how big these hands are? <laughs> Andre. Look at my hands. <laughs> it's so big. Look at how big my hands are. Hulk Hogan, I do WrestleMania. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> no Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Yeah, One day, when the wrestler was hurt, and they don't know who to take you, who go to take his place. Then they call me. I said, I can't do that. I've never been in the ring in my life. Hmm. This I, don't, I, I don't want to go. The guy come down. <laughs> I said, where are we going? He said, we're going to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I've never been there in my life. <laughs> I've never gone. Look at me. Oh. 
How am I? You take somebody like me to the cheesecake factory. Look, yeah, that's got to be rough on her, but you know, you should be grateful. When you're six foot, you got limited options. 90, 93% of men are below six foot. It's absurd. While you do that math, I'm just going to play a little more Andre the Giant. Why the? Where's I'm Andre. <laughs> Oh, he ripped the shirt right off. Are 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 you or are you not gonna go to the cheesecake factory? Yeah! Yes or no? Yeah! You never. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Now that you see the video, look at her head is just fucking grazing that sunroof. Her hair is so high. Yeah. Could you open the sunroof so I can stick my head out? Yeah. <laughs> I could not grow my eyelashes. Look, look, you know, you can tell too. Look where the look where the seatbelt is below the McGuffins. Oh my God, you're right. Now I can't unsee it. It's not even over the shoulder. It's under the McGuffins. Oh my God, <laughs> sweetie, you're gonna get if he gets into an action, you're gonna get a whiplash. I know. And that big head is gonna crack the dash. She the looks dashboard. like. Re remember the Flintstones, like when he's driving in the the uh, <laughs> the the the. the brontosaurus has his head sticking out the window yeah, of course. dino 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 <laughs> has his head this is what it looks like <laughs> anyway on, let me go find it that's what go the, for it yeah the interview weeks later um yeah. before i ask you any questions have you guys had a second date mm, no. no 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 second dates not yet okay okay not uh, yet so Ooh, you, that's optimistic what is, okay okay uh so i'll start with you jay mm. what, what has dating been like for you since that video went viral uh, well, uh, since I was on the video, kind of unexpected, uh, a lot of women, they, they might have seen the video or might have heard from it or maybe a friend of them is, mm -hmm. has seen the video and mm -hmm. shares it with them. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of had this image of me from, based on the video. Absolutely. And it, See, I would have thought he'd do well because of that image, but I guess... He's not, not doing well because of the video. Yeah, it's everything not, else. Yeah. So here's here's an interesting. Go back to the video, just a picture of him. If you watch right. this over, and I've talked about this a hundred times, when you have a level, when you're when you are working to be the best version of yourself, and you're working to be the and you and you believe it, right? It 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 emanates through everything to you do. It's in your walk, in your talk, in your voice in your clothing, in your stance, especially in your posture. If you look at him, right? If you could fast forward to see a bigger, the wide shot. Of him? Yeah. And, Let's see. Uh, and the wide shot? So, yeah, right there. So so look at how he's, you, you see how he's not, his posture is leaning forward. He's not taking up space. His body language says that he doesn't feel as though he has value. Now, hmm. Uh, she is a, a, a Amazon, so mm. she knows how to sit because she's a she's a giant. She's a center at the NBA, so she's sitting in a way where she's not. She's presenting herself in a way that so that she doesn't look like a um like a gigantor. You know what I mean? Mm. I got you. Yeah, and also like her posture is she's just more kind of there for it, like you know here for the she still doesn't think she did anything wrong because her posture only changed at the end of that other video yeah where she felt sad like when he was yeah. leaving but so, yeah, you're right. they Let's might see. think for what they're looking for y yeah i think so because uh, i mean i see jay holla at you man school 202 sure you, you yeah. need a consultation hit, us, hit me up at dante never.com Click on consult, or you can hit Harry. Uh, Email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. We can help you out, Jay. We'll Come on. We'll we can help you out, Jay. Come on. Increase wait, your confidence. Just... Get back in the game. This is hard to watch, man. You're my hero yeah. at the end of that other video, but <laughs> because sometimes he didn't fight. He's just too nice. He was at his wits it's too end. Too nice. But he's even in this video, he's still too nice. And he's, he's his... apologizing because he's saying he didn't put his best foot forward. He did everything you could possibly do except take her crap. Yeah. That's the only thing he didn't do. And he took too much of her crap as it is. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. One, he could have stopped so much sooner. Willing to. Now you had a, a, a definitely a different opinion before he gave you his 
is, is mine, right? Well, he checked but you, you seem bitch. very receptive to it. Can you explain to me kind of what? So you uh, you had a, a change of heart after he uh, put you right on your ass. Is that correct? <laughs> Once we had the conversation, I could see my role mm -hmm. in the conflict. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's back up a little bit. To be fair, I mean. Uh, here we go. Okay. Here we hold go. On. This is just when she starts to give an apology. This is. Now she's got to give an explanation. explanation you can't just apologize. To not, yeah. Uh, to be fair, by the way, as if she it was unfair towards her. To be fair, let's be fair to me. And this is, yeah, it's just ridiculous. I called you up. I picked you up. I waited an hour. I was willing to spend money. And you were nasty to me till I had to take you home. And then I still take, there's plenty of dudes would have left your funky ass right in the in the parking lot. Oh my not god! That I, not that I, uh, you know, advocate that, but mm. by the way, just shout before out, shout out to Keith Robinson, <laughs> <laughs> da uh, Dine and Dash Keith Robinson. Yeah. Di <laughs> um. The, just by the way, before we play this, if you could see the still image of her face right now, it's an mm. un, it's a very unflattering image, but just just mm. she's so big and massive, it looks like she's trying to drive a railroad spike in with a big hammer, <laughs> John Henry style. <laughs> I, I'm afraid for Jay because if 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 he would if this would have worked out, she was going to beat him. She That's was true. Gonna beat him. This, by the way, between the two of them, just the size differential. Th this looks like a scene out of the Green Mile. Just <laughs> pointing it out there. How tiny he uh, he is uh, in, in proportion. That conflict. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's back up a little bit. To be fair, I mean, I was always raised that the man is supposed to cater to you. I mean, Did that. you're mm -hmm. courting me, so court me. Mm -hmm. Did that. That means wherever I want to go, you take me. Absolutely. Did Whatever that. I want, you buy me. That's he would have. You know? No, uh, that okay. is pimping. Yeah. Right. Simping. Yeah. It's a good word for simping. S I M P I N G. Simp. Bing. Everything I want, you do it for me. And I have no accountability. It's right. called simping. Yeah, that's not courting. That's just that's not court. That's not what it means to be. It's it's amazing when people just change the definition for what they want it to be. Courting is trying to win your heart. This is just buying him, buying you stuff. That's not you know the I'm same gonna, thing. Like, play on, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna Google courting. Courting. All right, here we go. I'd be interested to hear what the definition is. Back up a little bit. To be fair, I mean, I was always raised that the man is supposed to cater to you. I mean, you're courting me, so court me. Mm -hmm. That means wherever I want to go, you take me. Absolutely. Whatever I want, you buy me. That's. By the way, I do believe her. I do believe that is how she oh, was that, raised. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The way I was raised, a man does whatever you want and you treat him like shit because that's how my mom treated my dad and that's how my grandmothers treated my grandfathers. And this is what happens. She has unrealistic, uh, just appalling expectations. And now what she does is she twists the verbiage like, like he's not a man because he's not doing that. Like you're not a man. You're not courting me properly because you're not just doing whatever I want whenever I want. Here's courting. The answer, okay. uh, definition for court to court. Mm. Be involved in romantically, typically with the intention of mar marriage. Uh, it's uh, of a male bird or other animal trying to attract a mate or pay special attention to someone in an attempt to win their support or favor. That's the other part. Which, uh, let's be honest, he did all of the above. Um, he did. What she, and, and I don't know how it was romantic when she wouldn't even hold his hand. She wouldn't even put... She didn't even want her to put his, hold his hand. She He just was like, wanted to escort her to the car. Then he did, what did he do? He went around, he opened the door, the car door, and she locked him out of his own car. In in all fairness, she didn't want to hold his hands because she would have crushed it like a yeah. like a grapefruit. I will crush your hand. I, I don't Daddy, want to break I, your hand. I don't want to hold your hand, but I will want to break it. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> it's not happening. Thank you, hands on my shoulders. <laughs> Thank you, hands on my shoulders. Thank you, hands on my shoulders. Want whenever I want.
Here's courting. The answer, okay. uh, definition for court to court. Mm. Be involved in romantically, typically with the intention of mar marriage. Uh, it's uh, of a male bird or other animal trying to attract a mate or place special attention to someone in an attempt to win their support or favor. That's the other part. Which, uh, let's be honest, he did all of the above. Um, he did. What she, and, and I don't know how it was romantic when she wouldn't even hold his hand. She wouldn't even put... She didn't even want her to put his, hold his hand. She He just was like, wanted to escort her to the car. Then he did, what did he do? He went around, he opened the door, the car door, and she locked him out of his own car. In, in all fairness, she didn't want to hold his hands because she would have crushed it like a yeah. like a grapefruit. I will crush your hand. I, I don't Daddy. want to break uh, your hand. I don't want to hold your hand, but I really want to break it. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> you don't go back. It's not happening. <laughs> Thank you, answer my shoulders. <laughs> Come on, this can't be real, brother. You can't tell me you don't want to go into the Cheesecake Factory. A turner. You know, I'm looking for a provider. So, a provider that that just means a, a sugar daddy, a support, mm -hmm. a financial support. But yeah. after the conversation, I could see how there was a lot of I. Okay. In, 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 in that exchange, um, I, it was, uh, I was definitely very self-centered and I can appreciate if I do want someone to provide for me, I at least got to be a little bit nice. Absolutely. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. I Fair mean, it, enough. Took, it took forever to get there though, but it it, it's just the, the entire world and internet to, and they kick you in the fucking ass. In and, order for you to see it, but. and caveats and explanations and justifications, but I, I guess she got there. So at least there's got something, there. but it's just sort of. the amount of effort you have and also blamed him a little bit, but yeah. the amount of effort and society a little bit and her family and she blamed everybody, but she did get there. Jesus. Yeah. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all, do all of the above. Yeah. Base. Let's go. Now I ask you this, based based on your idea of dating before your conversation with Jay, how did you grow up? Who who also thinks that way? I'm sure you have. Okay, that's a good question. That I like way. that. I, I've heard it a lot. I okay, mean, so. everybody. I mean, that's that's what the man's. He's supposed to be the provider. Absolutely. Um, so. He yeah. was. He was providing. Was See, providing. You're twisting the definition of providing. Providing doesn't imply that you get everything you want. Providing is the necessities for survival. Yeah. That's what providing was meant to be. You're supposed to provide what your partner needs, not what not just makes what them... you want. And yeah. don't get me wrong, men will give you what you want. If yeah. you're nice to them, if you're nice. give you what you want. But she... you don't you just don't dictate the tone of everything and expect some some little dude to go over there. <laughs> she could have, if she had played her cards right and been polite, this guy does not have any confidence. He's not, he doesn't have any good. She could have, she could have had a sugar daddy. The guy has a lot of money. If she had yeah. just been nice, she could have been uh, the queen of India at this point. I want you to buy me five X mittens to yeah. fit my, my big hand. Uh, Please um, give me some big gloves. I need you to buy me the world's biggest charm bracelet. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. <laughs> a beautiful woman. So you get a charm bracelet with a real anchor on it. <laughs> <laughs> she could have been storming through. Uh, she could have been storming through Mumbai like Godzilla, <laughs> just tearing things down, just oh. fighting. <laughs> Just fighting Mothra. <laughs> she could have done it, but she's too greedy. I'm expecting to be treated 
That like is royalty. Debatable. I mean, come on. So, pound royalty. for pound, she's a beautiful. You got to give her pound for pound. <laughs> no, 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 no. If we're talking about she shit is, is a bargain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, retail price. You can't go wrong with that. You know, you're not going in there. You know your value. It would be embarrassing for you to go inside a cheesecake factory. Oh, a lot of people oh. like cheesecake factory. Oh. Now, so when I see that video, I'm thinking, okay, she must have some friends who probably would disagree with her going inside a cheesecake factory. Uh, single yeah, ass yeah, funky yeah. hoes. You uh, got a so group of single funky hoes. Oh my God. Mm. If I, yeah, I would have never lived that down. Wow. I just mean, if they ate the cheesecake factory. They wouldn't let you live that down. I guarantee no, you, I your funky ass grew a group of chicks ain't got no man. <laughs> mm. I guarantee yeah. it. The fact that you're looking to, to live up to some expectation of somebody else shows how weak you are as an individual. It's just absurd. I would never live it down if I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Just this this first world problems is just, you, you are giant. Yeah. Do you know how much I have to spend to feed you? Do you know how embarrassing it would be for me to be at the Cheesecake Factory? My friends would never let me live it down. The honky tonk man, <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts, Gamera, <laughs> Rodan. They would make Ma fun of me. Make a god, make a Godzilla. Would I so embarrassed to be with me? <laughs> None of the other people at Jurassic Park. They'd all be embarrassed. <laughs> the Tyrannosaurus, the 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 Stegosaurus, <laughs> all of them. Nicole wow! Does not do that. that. I mean, that was you know that that was my circle though. That's how sure. I mean. That's what. Trash. That's how we roll. Yeah. Sure. I mean, to be again, no responsibility. That's just the people I choose to let into my life. I don't know. I don't have any control of that. Yeah, you do. Quite. Here's a basic fundamental thing: it's just treat people like you want to be treated. Treat yeah, people with this respect and the kindness. You want to be treated with the kindness and the respect. You want somebody to take care of you. How about you take care of somebody first? But you give something of yourself at some point in time in your life to show. I, I, you know what, Doug? I'll tell you, and you, you and I both know this. We've been doing this podcast for ten years. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than hearing a guy. I run into a guy in the street that's been listening to the podcast. I mean, we I just met a kid. He's been listening to me since he was 16 years old, and he goes, "Man, I I grew up with no father, and you changed my life. Wow. I I don't. You help me." through so much things that I didn't have anybody to lean. I didn't have no masculine figure to, 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 to talk to. And they, you changed my life. It is giving feels good. Yeah. I would even, I would, I would be, I would, I would actually say that even in, in generosity, there's a selfishness because what you get back from being kind to people and open and honest to people. Now, you know, we're joking and, and can, but it's like, the, the 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 level of self esteem you get from just intentionally being kind is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you help people all the time. Shout out to Liam. Uh, I counsel. I did a consultation with him just this morning, uh, all the way from Australia. And you know, you hear those things like, "Hey, man, it's so great to speak to you. Thank you for helping me. You've changed the way I approach things. I've been listening for years." I practice ace, ace, authenticity, credibility, empathy. It's it's helped me. I'd lay the five It's it's just, you know, yeah. it's nice to hear it. There's a selfish thing in me that gets excited, but it's the the fact is when you help somebody listen, Dante helped me, and I'll always be grateful for that. I really will I because, you, honey, let oh, me help you. <laughs> I'm here to help you to fix your relationships. If you need help in your relationship, do a consultation. You could go to DanteNero.com and click on Consult. Consult. Or you can Alicia. Hear... Alicia. Alicia. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Or if you want a consultation from me, go to uh, AdviceFromHarry at gmail.com. And if you like the show, by the way, do us a favor and just uh, click like, subscribe, share the thing, and you'll get more Andre the Giant impressions. <laughs> um, hypergamy is a big you know, is a big thing in, in my circle. Mm -hmm. It's what, I mean, it's what we've been taught. Why, I mean, as a black woman, I don't go there. I mean, as oh, a black woman, you know. um, we're really tired of having to settle. Um, we want to be treated well. Mm -hmm. We want that soft life. So mm. that's what I thought I was going after. 
However, what I understand is a part of having a soft life is being cooperative. Mm. Being soft. And not being combative, You're right? right? Actually yeah. being soft. Right. Right. Being right. receptive, right. being sweet. Absolutely. Being pleasant. Let me right. let me because just back back up also. Here I want to give the definition of hyper is hypergamy. I see you've been pronounced it wrong. It said the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of superior psychological and educational backgrounds. Mm. So in order for you, but what's crazy about that is in order for you to do that, there has to be a trade-off, which what hyper, uh, hypergamy means that you want to, you want to upgrade. You want, and I've, I've said this a hundred times, a woman likes it, doesn't find a guy attractive. If she likes a dude, she, she, he, he has to, she has to think he's better than her. Otherwise, what is she doing? She's trying to upgrade. And we, we as men, we understand that. Now, better is a relative term, Dante. Better is a relative term. Absolutely. She gets to decide what she means by better. If that's height, if it's muscles, if it's security, money, if it's security, sexuality, if it's uh, social status, yeah. if it's a big dick, whatever it is, she gets to decide what that is. So but if, the reality is that there's a trade-off because a man is not looking at, uh, look, a man who has higher social status, higher financial, he's not looking for somebody, he's looking for something different. He's looking for somebody who's cooperative, kind, and 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 co cooperative, kind, and 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 sweet. Mm. Mm. And she was none of those things. So this is an interesting thing. How you get women? She, she uh, me and my crew, we, we're into hypergamy. But you have not even thought about in the least bit what you have to sacrifice or what not to sacrifice. It, it costs you just want a free ride. You mm. shoplifting. You trying to shoplift the dick? We'll get into that later. But go right. ahead to go all out on a date, huh? Mm -hmm. to, and and he, you said absolutely. If he likes her, he should present that right. Yes. He should lead, yes. lead, and be masculine. He should be willing to pay for the meal, show up on time, open doors for her the whole that. night. He did but when all he you, of that. Expected to do. Mm. You said look good, yeah. be there, and that's where the show up right, right. And so when you talk about leveling up, what did you bring to the table? Absolutely. You want to move up, but you have nothing to add to it. You just want you want a free ride. And that's where this, you know, having good looks and the market being towards women, because guys, this is because guys have tolerated so much in the past from her and her friends mm -hmm. and Mothra and uh, Rodan, and Rodan, <laughs> Andre the Giant, Big John Studd, all her friends, the honky tonk man. So they have tolerated so much from them that this is acceptable behavior. And it took an event like this for her to even for a moment think that she might have to make a couple few adjustments. What's but she's interesting still is had she have not recorded this and put this online, she would have moved on with the same. This would have been a story where her and her girlfriends would have been cackling over bottomless margaritas at Applebee's because, you know, when they spend their own money, it's mm. a big difference. It's a, the sister and girl party where you got 10, 10 women hanging out. Uh, arguing about who ordered the wings. What's crazy about mm. this also? Ten, ten is women, that three appetizers. <laughs> she she was like, I showed up, I got dressed, I put one and a half eyelashes on, and I. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and I well, I'm done. I did my job, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready to, I'm ready I'm ready ready to level up. <laughs> I'm looking for a provider. Someone provide me a better life for me. I need a huge house yeah. with 16 foot ceilings. I need to level up. I mean, literally level up. The <laughs> roof is too small. I was an hour late because I could not get out the door. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my God. So if you've thought about that, could you could you tell me some of what you've what you think now, if he were to ask you that question today? Sure. If you think about, if, you know, watching the video, it's like, how do you expect this person to keep giving, 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 and you're not giving anything back? Mm. So well, now what, we're depleted. Revelation. Absolutely. And yeah. so who's going to pour into him? Wow. So, I mean, if you, if you truly do want that type of uh, protection provider, there has to be some balance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So... Wow, yeah. that is that's very powerful. And she would know about balancing because she's six <laughs> foot. Because tall. she have to she have her feet the size 
18, so has good balance. <laughs> I, I wear big shoes. I don't want to fall off the ring. Wow, that is, that's very powerful. I actually took the liberty to make a list of things that men and women should look for yeah, in each other on a date, yeah, right? Yeah. Hold on, you let me know. Uh, I, I, um, I really want to, I don't know if we can find a like, part fast. But there's a part where he talks about the Cheesecake Factory. Um, but if you oh, can't wait. find uh, it, oh, let me okay. see. I mean, again, I can respect boundaries, but it did still at the same time hurt my feelings if you didn't trust me. What a kind little. And of dude. course, as men, we're going to try to be receptive to that and understand where you're coming from. Um, but it does kind of limit his ability to do his full, uh, to be his full masculine self in, in that capacity, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, see, the problem is he is waiting f to, he want, they're trying to set up a scenario where he allows her to drive, you know, figuratively speaking. Yeah. The problem is when a woman allows you, she thinks less of you. You need to take control. Yeah. And it's shitty that you have to do that, but that's yeah. just the reality of it. That's the genetics. That's yeah. the genetics of humanity. It's a, if you are affected, if you are affected in, in, about everything around you, why would she respect you? How can you keep her safe? When you can't even protect yourself from her horribleness, you can't even put her in a place. I mean, I you you talk to I do consultation with women all the time, and everybody loves a dude that puts them in their place. I I actually think a lot of times women will go out get out of pocket to test you. It turns them on the fact that you could that you that you're not going to just and put up with anything. By the way, no one is suggesting that you be abusive. There's a difference. There's nobody would I, I, yeah. I would never advocate Well, people that. no, people might because people take it out of context. You got this whole red pill movement where it's it's not about being abusive. It's just about holding people accountable. You don't have to yell. You don't have to be abusive. You don't have to be aggressive. It's just about calling people out when they're being inconsiderate and they're being inappropriate. It's just like this guy did at the end of the video where he goes, "I'm just going home." That was him. That was the only moment she started to respect him. And of course, unfortunately, yeah. he's too nice. He went right back into the mode that he's accustomed to being in. Exactly. And the, you just you if you're he has plenty to offer. You don't have to go back to it because I don't I'm tired of watching this video already. But <laughs> the uh, he talks about the, the Cheesecake Factory and he says that the Cheesecake Factory is a place where him and his family go. To the, he's like he doesn't have a problem when he goes it's something that me my family and i we all my birthdays he goes all my birthdays we spent as a at the cheesecake factory so even in the context of this he kind of was like i want to share this with you i want to share this mm. place that i like and that my family goes to and this is my family so he's such a good dude he's even in the context of what would be perceived as him being cheap or uh, a, having a lack of class is him Saying I, I'm I'm reaching out to you to 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 give to reach in my hand to show you I trust you to bring you in to show you something. This is where I go, where my family goes, where I've spent all my birthdays here, and I want to share this with you. And it's just the the, the ridiculousness and the absurdness of uh, of the fact that there's just no empathy at all. She's disrespectful and 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 just just not a good person. And I and I think giving getting this ass kicking with the internet is what's made it way it's forced her to reflect. But had she have not locked the door and turned on her camera with this, with the audacity, no, they of, would be all it, laughing it would, and then telling us laughing at this little and corny dude, telling the story about how, what a, what a piece of shit he was, what yeah. a piece and of crap he, had, he was. If he had taken her to the other, to the restaurant, she, it, they would have laughed at him and she'd have never, I, I, we don't have a, here's another thing. And you and I used to talk about this all the time, the spark. Like women, I just don't feel no spark. That ladies, that spark that you t you think is just natural is preparation for us. It is getting a reservation. That. It's it's talking to you and listening and gathering gathering intel to know that you have a shellfish allergy, so we don't take you to a seafood place. It's it's asking questions about what you like and what you don't like and everything else that goes along with it, so that the the, the date goes smooth. It's him. At saying the 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 date is at the the reservation is at four, so we can so we need to get there early. All of this is important. So anyway, mm -hmm. let's uh, we're almost let's done go with to it. the close of this. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can get down to the bottom of this. Uh, I think that I have the close. The close is the whole Kogan uh, body slams her <laughs> and drops the does the leg drop on her and pins her. But 
<laughs> she will let him spin, <laughs> spin, <laughs> and spin, huh, knowing she's not interested in this man. Now, do you feel that that's wrong? No, I I don't like users. So, mm -hmm. I mean, no, um, that's you don't what like you were yourself. Yeah, you that's like what you're trying to do, though. You wanted to go to a fancy restaurant that somebody else was going to pay for. That's all you cared about. That you the didn't like. That's the thing that drove you nuts was the venue. Mm -hmm. The venue changed and you didn't like that. You thought it was in a, you didn't Good care point. about him as an individual. You didn't care about what he brought to the table. All you gave a shit about was the number of stars that the restaurant had. I do think that that's, I think that we're all adults and there's enough of every type out here. To where that's not even necessary. Oh, this is interesting. Like, there are men that really will just spend money on you. Absolutely. Here's, listen I mean, to what she says. Listen this is her fucking says. revelation. Oh, yeah. boy, hold on. I'll rewind enough it. Of no, don't rewind it. Leave it out here to where that's not even necessary. Like, there are men that really will just spend money on you. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's there's a certain type. There's things yeah. that go with that. But there are, you know, men that will just spend money on you and are okay with that. Mm -hmm. You know? But I what, do what do you what do you take from that type of man? If you don't mind me asking, we call that a good simp. question. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. I, and we call that a simp when a man is willing. To I like that he said that scientifically in the community. Yeah. We call that a simp. <laughs> uh, uh, it's an interesting. We call that a, a bitch ass punk. Is that to buy you? It's a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna do that one. I stopped. I took. A, I had to I take know, a U turn heard, on the I heard, GPS. I heard that slam. Well, yeah. That's what it was. I go, oh, no, 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 no. That's not a road I want to go down. That's not my lane. By the way, I am not white. I just want to point that out, but I still <laughs> will not use, uh, will it not works. drop bombs. All right, let's get back to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already offering to pay for the meal, right? That's me already being okay with that, right? right? Mm -hmm. But her recording me did feel like that's where I felt like she was trying to take advantage. Mm. And that's where that was one of the many, many, many spots where he should have stopped yeah. it immediately. Yeah. If you're feeling that that tingle in the nuts that somebody's taking advantage of, you're probably right. Yeah. That gut feeling you get about that is you're absolutely right. You're right. You are being taken advantage of and you need to stop it immediately. And maybe you had a different view on it, but it felt like at the time that you were just trying to get food, for, like a free meal from a fancy restaurant. And then you get content from me too, to post on YouTube, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you get your reputation ran through the mud. So it, yeah. it's all be done at your expense, right? Mm -hmm. Now that wasn't your, that wasn't your take. You have many groups where you absolutely encourage. Was. That's absolutely what she was trying to do. Stop let's, let's giving her. Just, I, I, he's a simp. He's simping too. Mm. Oh, oh no! But it is. There's oh, no, no reason. Yes, he is. This is simp on simp crime. Simp on simp. simp on simp crime. <laughs> oh, I Explicit hate simp on simp simpness. crime. That's exactly what she wanted was to get content. In that moment. I, I felt like I needed the support of my my viewers um, in that moment, yeah. but and not all physical support. I mean, yeah, you are physical, tall. Yeah, <laughs> I needed the physical support because my lower. You needed scaffolding, you giant bitch. I didn't know they. I didn't know they made they sold skank uh, spanks at the uh, XL store. You need, the, what is you that needed like? construction yeah. scaffolding to support you. Oh my God! You needed four by fours. The pressure thing, you, treated. You needed those those uh, planks that they used to hold up the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> That's the support you needed. Only that, like he said, you know, I do. I discuss relationships and things like that. So I thought that that was a good opportunity for me to kind of have oh, that conversation and see at your expense. Like, yeah. what does you know? What does everything? It was a good opportunity for you. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. else think. He's at a date. He's on a really date trying to trying thing. to make a connection. And, and yeah. this is an opportunity for you to to, to garner su uh, support and content for your 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 followers. You stinking ass bitch. You awful hoe. Fast forward. Okay. I want to let's go to the end. The end part where he, the conclusion is I'm and trying to be necessarily malicious or anything like that. No, indifferent. Good, good. Not in, not malicious, indifferent. That's which is also bad. Indifference is also bad. Abusive. Yeah, it's yeah. abusive. It difference when it doesn't affect you. To end this, to end this video, okay? In a world uh, with hookup culture, 
uh, not having much understanding. Fast forward this knucklehead, man. If, if you were able to, you guys be open to another date, knowing what you know now. I think if, if we were able to find a way to get our values, don't do it, Jay. In the center. No, don't do it. Um, I could see us trying again. Ah, oh, no. I mean, yeah, I would be willing to go out on a date again. Wow. Yeah, you gonna that, record awesome. it this time? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we want to keep up with this first date. Yeah, actually. let's not. Yeah, all right. That's he's gonna pay that. for it. They're gonna pay for it. Oh, what I would have said is love connection yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna pay for it. But here's what I'm gonna say. I would have said, would you be interested in going to the cheesecake factory mm. for the date? Oh, that's hilarious. And you pay for it. You right. stinging ass bitch. Bit. You funky hoe. Or um, second prize, <laughs> would you enjoy a date that's only in the parking lot of the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> where you, I mean, I guess, I, you know, I can't even say that he would get head in the car because I don't know if it's physically possible for her. They, listen, we can get an Uber dump truck and <laughs> you up. Here's my thing. It, Jay should have said, here's what I would like. I would like the money for the date so I can take somebody else. I'm, mm. I'm done with this funky hoe. Mm. Disrespectful, funky, disrespectful hoe. I got to I got I got I got them on their date at the uh, at the cheesecake factory in the car in the parking <laughs> lot of the cheesecake. Why is she looking backwards? <laughs> oh my goodness! There she is, sticking her head out of the moonroof. Why is she looking backwards? She doesn't have to respect the look him in his eye. She's doing the same thing again. Just no respect, no respect. <laughs> and why did he bring Barney? <laughs> Date number two. Wait, so is that Jay? That's, don't Jay don't do it? Don't, don't go. Do don't it. do it. Get the money or take that money and get a consultation at uh, DanteNero.com. Click on consult uh, or talk or, or spend it with Harry at advice from Harry at gmail.com or spend that money at patreon.com slash man school 202. That's, That's right. what you need to do. That's right. We do dating advice over there. We do bonus shows <laughs> and we also archive all the old episodes so people like Jay can start from scratch from episode one so you can learn all the mistakes, all the rules that you are breaking that have led you to be sitting next to a, a six foot one power forward and just wondering how you got there. <laughs> GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? Yo, we love y'all, man. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting us. L subscribe, comment, like, spread it, share it, all that good shit. Peace. We out of here. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.